Now it looks like a Mako's come up that Burley Trail and it's a perfect size for a soft plastic. So I've got a slam bait on. Here he is, here he comes right here. He's popped back up from underneath the boat. Let's see if he'll take this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, he's getting excited. Okay. And I'm on. He took the plastic right underneath the motor, right after he bit the back step of the boat. Just make sure the hook's right in. <laughs> they can certainly get moving when they... Um... Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, no, he's changed no, direction he's again. going back down. <laughs> <laughs> now amazingly, we've actually been on this shark now for some time, probably in the vicinity of over half an hour. Scotty and I were just discussing that I don't think we've ever seen a mako of this size put up such a tussle. Alright, he's starting to plane right up to the top again. Here we go. He's coming up to the top. Almost got the shock leader on, the rod. Now this shark is a perfect size to keep and he's nearly ready for the gaff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get him on board and we're gonna come back after some quiet thinking music. Well, there we go. Beautiful mako shark. Really good size for soft plastic fishing, but even more importantly, Scotty, perfect size for eating, really. This, yep. this sort of eating size. Yeah, 25 to 30 kilo size mako. But one thing that is really interesting that you can see there is that you can almost see there. If we just open the mouth a bit more. You can see the soft plastic jig head in there, and the plastic itself has been chewed right off, including most of the plastic coating on the wire. But it all held together, and we end up getting him on board. Thanks heaps, mate. That's all right, mate. I was getting a bit worried there for a while. I know. couldn't believe it. He just wouldn't give up. I know. We're probably on that fish for 40 minutes. But awesome, Mako.